friends, welcome to my channel. Today's video is all about strawberries and springtime. I'm taking you to a strawberry festival at a local farm. We'll see some cute animals and later we'll make a strawberry dessert. I wonder if you've been looking forward to springtime as much as I have. Getting out and spending the day outside and feeling the warm air is so refreshing. And I've been dreaming of getting out and going to festivals again. And I'm so happy that I can bring you along for a day of down-home fun. We decided to head to the strawberry field first. We'd been looking forward to picking our own strawberries but apparently so was everyone else. Sadly, there were no decent strawberries left. We even saw deer tracks in the strawberry field. There were lots of other fun things for the kids to do though. I really enjoyed seeing the state prison cloggers. What a hoot! And look at these adorable farm animals. This chicken even played the piano for us. Hey friends, thanks for stopping in to watch this video. I really appreciate you being here. If you're enjoying the video, would you please give it a thumbs up? And if you know someone else who would enjoy it, would you please share this video with them? It helps me out more than you know. Let's stop in for some homemade strawberry ice cream. This was one of the highlights of our day. Have you ever made homemade ice cream? Tell me in the comments below. Ottawa Farms has a general store, and this bonnet reminded me of Little House on the Prairie. That was one of my favorite childhood TV shows. Did you watch it too? Let me know in the comments. Every time I come here, I'm curious about this moonshine jelly, but I haven't been brave enough to try it yet. decided to go to Carrie Hilliard's for lunch. That's one of our favorite restaurants. There are six different locations in the Savannah area, and if you come to visit us in Savannah, I recommend you give them a try. After lunch, we popped into a car show. We can't resist looking at these beautiful vintage cars, and that reminded me of my grandpa's old truck. It's a 1978 Ford, and it's still in our family. My brother owns it, and he's getting it turned into a hot rod, and he promised me that I can drive it when it's finished, and I can't wait for that day. You may have seen in some of my other videos about how much my grandpa meant to me. He was the father figure in my life, and he left a lasting impression on me. Friends, I encourage you to invest in the life of children, whether it's your grandchildren, nieces or nephews, or kids in your church. 
you never know what a lasting impact you can have. Now let's get started on our strawberry dessert. We're going to let our pudding set up for about five minutes and while it's doing that we'll go ahead and cut our cake up into cubes. So here's all the ingredients that we'll be using to make our strawberry trifle. We've got our cake, pudding, and two containers of strawberries and our Cool Whip. I've never made this recipe before. It was sent to me by one of my pen pals and she gave me permission to share it with you. Thanks, Natasha. I planned out this video. I had originally intended to use the strawberries that I picked at the Strawberry Festival. Well, that didn't quite work out as planned. So I have these two containers of sliced strawberries from the frozen section at Kroger. But you know what? I think they're gonna work out even better and it's gonna make this recipe even easier. So Natasha says to layer half of the cake cubes on the bottom. Our second layer is going to be all of the pudding. The next layer is going to be the rest of the cake cubes. Then we're going to pour our strawberries all over the top. Gosh y'all, these strawberries smell so good. I wish you could smell them. We've got one more layer to do, and that's our Cool Whip. It goes right on top. I don't have my helpers with me today. They're both at school. Maggie is in college. She lives at home and goes to a local college, and Jack is in high school. So here's our trifle, y'all. It looks so good. I'm gonna put it in the fridge overnight. I think recipes like this that sit overnight are better the next day. That way it gives everything a chance just to mush together. So we'll do our taste test tomorrow and I'll let you know how it turned out. I'll leave the recipe for the strawberry trifle down in the description box below. Jack was our taste tester and he really loved it.